Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Upper Hand Podcast, where our goal is to leverage limitations and turn adversity into advantage. Here's your host, Chris Rudin. We are back with another episode of the Upper Hand Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Rudin, and today's concept is stop touching the hot stove. No, this is not a cooking class. This is something that I've struggled with um, especially for the last few years, we tend to repeat pain that we're comfortable with. We tend to go back to scenarios that might be toxic or damaging because we know them. We find comfort, as we've talked about in the past, but we find comfort in pain. And it's, it's so crazy because we tell ourselves, I don't want this situation anymore. I don't want to feel this anymore. I don't want to, I don't want to feel this pain anymore. But the toxic level of comfort that we get thrives us and not only pushes us forward, we're so afraid of what life might be without that pain that we would rather go through the pain. We would rather touch the hot stove knowing that it's gonna burn us to a certain extent versus not having that in our life at all and wondering, could it be worse? Whether you've had a toxic relationship or a a bad business situation or a job situation or even a life situation, maybe the way you talk to yourself, that narrative in your head, I'm a loser, I suck, you know, I'm always going to be shit. That's touching the hot stove. And I know I used to do that. I used to limit my potential because of not only my circumstances, the way I was born, but how I just looked at life. I just thought life was shit. And I went from thinking life is shit to just thinking life is whatever. I would disassociate. And the pain of disassociation or the pain of telling me that life is shit was comforting and knowing I don't have to do anything about it. That pain, it sucked. It, it felt like shit because I wanted more. But I was more scared of the potential pain of trying and failing than I was at stopping myself, failing on purpose. How many times do we fail on purpose or we we fail before we even start so that we never have to start just in case we don't make it to the finish line? It sucks, man. It's, It's fucking scary. It's scary to step outside of your comfort zone and be like, Hey, I know what I'm doing right now hurts, but I need I need to get more out of life. I need to strive for more out of life. Somehow, we become just so indebted in servitude to the pain that we experience, we almost welcome it. We almost become obsessed with the feeling of hurt because the feeling of hurt is more comforting it it makes us feel a lot better than the feeling of the unknown. The fear of the unknown will drive people to put their hand on the stove time and time again, just to avoid the potential of not knowing what might happen. Why are we so willing to burn ourselves in relationships, in jobs, in thought? Why are we so willing to put ourselves through pain so that we don't experience pain at the expense of growth. What would happen? Go with me for a second. What would happen if right now in your life, think about the toxic situations you're in. And you know, when I, when I say this, you, you go to them immediately. You immediately gravitate towards what you know is not okay. Maybe it's the way you're thinking. Maybe it's the way you talk to yourself. Maybe it's the people you surround yourself with or the job or career you surround yourself with. Imagine that that level of discomfort that you have accepted. What would happen if you no longer accepted it? Let all those fears come into play and we'll, we'll run it through. We'll kind of catastrophize. If I didn't have this in my life, I might not have anything at all. If this person who doesn't make me happy, if I didn't have them, I would be alone. I'd be terrified. I might never find someone again. I might never find this job again. I might never get a better job. Honestly, my life might end. 
the remnants of that hot stove, the remnants of that comfortable pain cause you to tell yourself stories that aren't real. You losing a situation that causes you pain is not losing a situation. It's gaining an opportunity to grow. Allowing yourself to be afraid is step one. Anything worth accomplishing takes a fearful step to get out of the situation you currently in to potentially get into the situation that you could be in. If you stay, you are guaranteed to be unhappy, whether you stay in the thought process you currently have or the situation you're currently in. If you stay, you are guaranteeing yourself to be unhappy. But if you leave, you are not guaranteeing yourself to be happy. You're giving yourself the opportunity to be happy and you might not get there immediately. Eventually, yes, but immediately, no. It might take some steps. You might have to learn to be alone, but I can promise you this, the situation that burned you will make you feel more alone than being alone in general. How many times have you been with a person that hurts you or a situation that hurts you and you felt alone in a room full of people? Maybe by that person that hurts you, maybe in that situation. Maybe you've been at your house thinking and you're like, man, these thoughts suck and this is just what it's always going to be. I get that and I can't explain how much I feel that pain because I didn't keep burning myself on the stove. I left my hand there and I built so much mental scar tissue in acceptance of what I didn't need to accept I chose to accept a situation that hurt me. In, in essence, I chose to hurt me. Are you choosing to hurt you with the decisions you are either making or subconsciously not making to do better? We gotta stop burning ourselves on the situations that are already burning us. We gotta stop being afraid of potential and start being afraid of being stagnant in the situation you're currently in. Learn to change your perspective and tell yourself, I'm not afraid of what could happen. I'm afraid of what's actually happening, continuing for the rest of my life. That, to me, is much scarier than trying and messing up. Because as of right now, these toxic situations, they hurt. And if you become numb to the hurt, you're putting yourself in a position to continue being hurt for way longer than you deserve. Take your hand off the stove, embrace the fear of what could be, and the potential of who you could be will come. I promise.